Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, it's time to talk about the Forge. Um, we've now got three different rotations of, of Doom Tower going on. What I want to do in this video is just kind of give you a feel for where should you farm, if you can, on Auto Doom Tower on, on each rotation. So which areas of the Forge are worth your time? Which areas of the Forge are complete trash? Um, and I would say the Forge, especially on my free-to-play, but even on my main, it's one of the most valuable resources in the game, okay? It's up there as one of the best. It is a silver farm for you, okay? We don't have a silver farm. This is as close as we get to a silver farm in the game. Uh, it's also massive for my free-to-play in terms of getting great artifacts early in the game. Um, and you'd be like, yeah, but surely they don't carry right through to endgame. They do. They do. They're great artifacts in this forge. So the top four sets, um, in fact, I'm going to move myself for the sake of this video. The top four sets are all based on faction wars. Okay, so you've got swift parry, deflection, resilience, and perception. The top two are also obtainable for just winning Plat Arena. So they're out of, out of grasp for nearly everybody. But swift parry set and deflection you can get from Plat Arena if you finish in the top 300 in that one hour window um, once a week, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's just go through the top four quickly first. But the main thing I want to talk about is Doom Tower stuff. So Swift Parry set, awesome set. Um, it's actually a really good set anyway. You get speed, you get crit damage, but you also get a chance to be unkillable. Okay, this is actually massive. This set is generally used now on defense-based champions because of this chance to be unkillable in the arena. But is, it was originally built as an offensive set. So all of the stats are offensive, yet the unkillable chance to proc RNG um, rubbish is, uh, means it, they, this set goes on massively defensive champions. But it's a very cool set. Uh, probably the best of the, fact, uh, of the kind of um, plat sets you can get. Deflection set really hasn't had a use case until Bommel. And with Bommel, is pretty good. So... 25% chance to throw a bomb back at Bommel. Yeah, we like that. 25% chance to throw HP burn back at Bommel. Yeah, we like that. So in that situation, it's good. On a massive kind of tank, it's also kind of useful or annoying to face in the arena. But outside of that, probably not used a lot. Resilience set, I'd call up to be straight trash. This is your silver. Uh, on my free to play, all I do is burn through these. In fact, um, I'll show you quickly how I do this. I'll show you this. So I use a program called BlueStacks. There's actually other programs I think do a similar type of thing. But basically what I've done is I've recorded a macro of me clicking my mouse on the screen. So during Clan vs. Clan that's just gone, this is my free-to-play account now, um, I actually just auto-sold this crap set. Okay, so I literally press my macro. So what, I'll record a new one so you can see it. So you record macro, you click where you want to click, one click, you hit your cell button. You have to be aware that sometimes this is a bigger box. So I push it towards the bottom of the cell button, cell again, and then I stop recording the macro. And then I go into settings and I say, inf I play this again infinitely until I say to stop. Hit save. I go and make a cup of tea, I hit play, hands up. And what it's doing is it's creating these artifacts for me. See, this is a bigger box. So I had to be down the bottom of the box to sell. Still sold it, sold it, and then it plays again, and it plays again, and it plays again, and it basically sells off all of the crap that you don't want. Be careful if you're a new player, because some of this forced idea might actually be decent for you. I might have just sold something decent for my free-to-play, to be honest. But it just keeps rotating around. On my main account, sometimes I have like a thousand forge artifacts to make, all of which I know I don't want in this type of set. So it's just a silver farm. I go out, make a cup of tea, walk the dogs, um, have free dinners, and I come back and it's just about finished. So it's just a good little thing. I'll, I'll pin below. If you download BlueStacks on my link, I get like a dollar. But if you don't want to do that anyway, it doesn't matter. But this is a really good way to save yourself some quality of life because they won't give us like a 10 pull in the forge. And I would advise you only do this during like a clan versus clan fight. So let's get back to what we're talking about then. So those top three sets. Now, perception set. This is like the holy grail of the faction wars, okay? The holy grail perception set is damn amazing. This is where you want to save, uh, from a faction war perspective, your rank up charms, your rarity charms, and because you want 
A perception set is all about speed and accuracy. This goes right through to end game, but it's brilliant early game and it's very end game. Okay, it goes right the way through. So what you want to be doing is, you see I've got none left. You want to be putting your speed charms or your accuracy charms into this as well. And in that way, you're going to try and pick up substats that you want to go with this set. Okay, but perception set is top draw for faction wars. And um, even like, probably on my free to play, I still sell most of the stuff that's free to four star. But four to five star, anything five star that's got good substats, I'm keeping. And actually, it's kind of bolstering my account. But let's get on to the, the kind of main event here. If you want to read about this in a bit more detail, um, the team have actually pulled together a Doom Tower artifact sets page on the website. I will ping it below in the pinned comment because it's really useful actually to come back to and kind of make your decisions on. But basically what we're doing is we're talking through which sets should you farm on the different Doom Tower rotations and you know where are they good. So how do you find out a different rotation? How do I know what rotation I'm on? Um, you can come into Raid, Raid Stages Tool, which is what I'm on right now. And I can just click Doom Tower and I can say rotation one, two or three. If you just click rotation one, go to level 10 normal, you'll see that rotation one is the, the first boss you will face will be the Magma Dragon. Rotation two, first boss you face, I think is Griffin. So you check. Yeah. And then rotation three, we all know Marmol. Yeah. So that's rotation one, two and three. And then basically we go through in this guide and we just say, you know, should you farm this set in this rotation? Okay, let's go through it now. Um, Affinity Breaker, I don't think you should ever farm this set. I think it's a trash set. I think the stats don't make sense. Uh, there's not a high enough chance to change from a weak hit to a critical hit to ever make this make any sense. This is purely a silver farm. You literally beat Agref once and then you move on in Doom Tower. You don't go back to it and farm it. It's actually quite a nasty one to farm as well. So for me, don't, don't do it at all. Untouchable set. So we recommend, uh, let me just make sure I'm, I'm going to go through my guide at the same time so I'm getting the rotations right. Yeah, so rotation one, untouchable set is actually a decent one to farm. Okay, so there's not that many bosses where there's kind of gear that you really want. Untouchable is decent. It's like having an immunity set, but with resistance as well. Yeah, so for me, rotation one is a good farmable set. If you're very early game fighting like normal Doom Tower, uh, I would say the next set is another good one for rotation one. Mainly need to load up your faction war champions. Uh, it's not the best set in the world, but it's probably like their top two sets, I'd say, for, for rotation one. So Fatal is a bit like a cruel set or a bit like an attack set. Gives you extra attack, plus it gives you a bit of crit rate. And I'm finding this pretty useful on my free to play for the kind of second rotation. Uh, so for rotation one in normal, this is where I've been farming. Um, so Frostbite is also in rotation one. This is more of a niche set, okay? It is farmable on rotation one. It's an okay set to farm on rotation one um, if you're not looking to kind of be early game or if you're not looking for the immunity gear. But basically, you've got a chance to put freezes out and to, to not take freezes. It's an okay set. For a two-piece as well, it could kind of be a filler set. So we then get into Bloodthirst, and Blood, Bloodthirst comes into rotation two, um, it's a decent set, more of an early game set than a, a kind of later game, but it's basically life still, but with crit rate. So it's like an upgraded life still set. Again, I farm this on my free to play in rotation two. Okay, but I don't think it's the best set in rotation two. The best set uh, is this one, Guardian. So Guardian is the best set in rotation two, and it's also available in rotation three. And this is for killing the Griffin. So this one is like having ally protection within your team but also you gain heals per turn. So it's almost like a, a, low, a low version of regen set with a, a mini ally protection as well. It's very effective in arena defense teams. It's very effective in clan boss teams. Okay, It's like OP. In any of the world record stuff, people are wearing guardian sets, basically. It's very, very strong in the game. Uh, probably one of the best sets you can farm at all. We've then got the two new sets. So Fortitude and Lethal have both been added to rotation three and they're both actually great sets so i would say for rotation three you've kind of got your choice of three really strong sets fortitude from bommel it's quite hard to auto farm right now but i think we'll get there that you can um resistance plus increased defense it's kind of like a nice set it's just a straight buff to resistance gear um and you know the more we're playing doomtown the more we realize that resistance is becoming a, a big uh, big stat 
We still see some resistance teams in the arena, but not that many. Um, but it's not a bad stat to have. And then the last one is probably like the crown jewels, really. So this is the one I would recommend that you farm for rotation three, which is lethal set. It's savage gear plus some. It's a it's a pretty bonkers set. Dark phase relatively tricky at the moment to full auto farm. And honestly, any set that I'm trying to go for, I want to auto farm because damn, do I want to spend the next two hours farming sets in Doom Tower? Um, but Lethal Set is definitely worth getting a, an auto team going for because, you know, Savage Gear plus crit rate is just bonkers good. It's just absolutely bonkers good. So in the third rotation, you've got three crazy sets. Well, no, two crazy sets, I'd say. Guardian and Lethal and then Fortitude is also good. Yeah. So they definitely improved their game. When, when Doom Tower first came out, I was pretty negative about the sets that they put into it, saying that they don't impact the game at all. These first four, I still stand by that. Since then, I think the next four that they've put in have all been decent, actually. All been decent. And certainly the last one, this lethal set, is basically a top tier set. So um, don't sleep on the forge. It is an absolutely valuable resource. On my free to play, I farm a level of Doom Tower, whatever one I can, every single day. Even if it's just to be a silver farm, yeah? Um, and as you get further up through the game, like on my main, I am farming Doom Tower sets all the time. It helps you with Clan v Clan, it gets you some good gear, and it's basically like free resource without spending um, you know, valuable energy or gems or what have you. So there you go, guys. That's my guide to the Forge. As I say, I'm going to pin... The, um, the written guide below. Use it as a reference point because there's a lot more detail in that. But um, yeah, hope you find it useful. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.